Luke, a 7-1 victory, very good performance. You must be very happy. Yeah, listen, I, I told you a lot against Wingate and Finchley, Villaricky and then Concord. I, I generally don't care about the result. I care about the performance. Um, I care about the boys' fitness levels and injuries. Um, champs obviously come off with a knock to the head. The physio's a little bit cautious with that, um, which I have to appreciate. Champ feels absolutely fine, so that's positive. Um, the manner in which we went about the performance was very good. Um, pressed with an intent, recovery in terms of our, our organising their counters. And yeah, I just felt that brought all the combinations together this evening and I thought we, we offered up a very good performance and we were ruthless in front of the goal. You got um, Cabs scoring two when he come on, you got Corey getting his goal and we scored I think three or four between the 75th and 90th minute. That shows the level we were at with regards to fitness. But I said to the group, I wasn't disheartened when we went to Wingate, I wasn't disheartened when we went to Billericay. I'm not ecstatic or over the moon against Slough. We've got to prepare what we're doing and how we're going about our business. We've got three more fixtures now where we've got to gear up to hitting full tilt come Wrexham on October the 1st. Obviously with the situation around coronavirus, obviously every club had a lot of time off. Um, you can see now with every game the pressing and intensity is, is getting back to where it should be. Yeah, we've got seven fixtures in pre-season. It's something that we probably looked at and thought maybe that potentially one or two too many. But I honestly believe in the period where we come back for the playoffs, we didn't play enough game time. Getting them back into their habits, getting them back into that sort of mode. I don't care who you are, you're, you are robotic and the way you play, you can only really hone that in when you play games of footballs and put in that scenario. So I, I think our pre-season schedule has is, is been measured, the way in which we're playing clubs on plastic and going to teams that were in the playoffs, in the FA Trophy, teams that I believe will go close to winning in the National South. So it's taking the, the boys to the levels of high intensity, organising themselves. And I think we're starting to see the makeup of the team, the organisational side starting to, to kick in. I just said to the group then, I feel like a, a naggy, nagging wife. Why do you think I'm upset? And they say the 15 minutes at the start. I mean, you offer that up to a team in the National League, they sense blood, they'll go after you. And if you concede one, one brings two, two brings three, and then you're the team under pressure. So we need to improve that side of things. Um, but yeah, look, the performance was very good. Um, got more minutes to the boys, got three academy boys on the pitch again, which they're not bit parts, they're playing a part in pre-season. You see Ellis Brown for the, the, the angle ball and Corey slides it inside for cabs. So yeah, no, nah, really, really happy with the performance. The way in which we started the game, we controlled it in large periods, and yeah, well done, we won 7 1. You can't get too high because I wasn't too low against Billy Ricky and Wingate. Yeah, you mentioned the, the three pace players. Obviously, they didn't, they didn't get a lot of time on the pitch, but all three impressed tonight. I've got to be honest, they got, they got Dover tonight. Um, and I've got to be very cautious that we got kids that are getting on two, three buses and trains, and they got to get back across London on the way back from here. So, I asked them, do you want to be involved? It was, yeah, yeah, 100%. So the endeavour to be here is brilliant. I've got to be cautious because they're travelling down to Dover, which is an hour and a half. They've got to go and offer up 90 minutes after giving 10, 15 minutes of an account tonight. So their league season starts tomorrow. The big thing for me is, can Ellis Brown, Frankie Taylor and Donovan Green go and get to the levels they did this evening and drag the under-19s to the levels that they should do? Because we honestly believe we've got a good group in the 19s with Cameron Moyer and we expect them to deliver and, and get them to yeah, be the experience of that young group. So now happy with their, their input this evening. As I said, I thought Ellis's, Ellis's ball to, tonight was fantastic. Donham's made a great save which set us on the attack. But yeah, now nah, really happy. Um, we've got a game on Saturday where we need to ensure we're hitting them levels again. Um, and like I said, I said it in every interview, we're gearing up for October the 3rd. I don't want to hit a wall come the 26th of September. I want to make sure we're full tilt come Wrexham.